Hello everyone. Today I will read The Magic School Bus and the Missing Tooth story for you. This book is for beginner or early elementary level students. Let's read a short description of this book. Wanda finds a tooth at the back of Miss Frizzle's classroom. It is small and very sharp. Who lost it? Take off with Miss Frizzle's class and find out all about teeth. Okay, so let's move on to the next page. Here we have Miss Frizzle and her lizard Liz. They are both holding toothbrushes. They have toothbrushes in their hands. We also have all of her students, all of the students from Miss Frizzle's class. Uh, we can see their names under this under their <laughs> pictures. So the first guy, the first boy is called Arnold. His name is Arnold. Second guy is Ralphie. The girl is her the girl's name is Kisha. Um, the next girl's name is Phoebe. After that we can see Carlos. Standing right next to him is Tim. After that goes Wanda. And the last but not least is Dorothy Ann. They often just say DA in this book and it stands for Dorothy Ann. DA is the same as Dorothy Ann. Okay, so Miss Frizzle's class is fun. She wears funny dresses. She wears funny shoes. You can see her class here. Here is her dress. And here are her shoes. Wanda says, or Wanda is saying, we go on funny trips. Ralphie says, we go on the magic school bus. And this guy's name, I think it is Carlos. Okay, so Carlos says, you've never seen such a funny bus. So they're talking about their magic school bus, their favorite magic school bus. Okay. So I think somewhere between these two pages, uh, Wanda found a tooth. So the bus gets very small, it gets wings, it zooms up in the air, and we fly right back into the school. So as you can see, it gets very small, it gets wings, and they fly back into the school. Maybe the page here is missing. There is no page between these two uh, because uh, it doesn't say anything about Wanda finding um, a tooth and it doesn't say anything about them going outside. So Wanda says, who lost this tooth? Maybe she found this tooth inside of the bus. Uh, here we can see the word shrinking. It means getting very small, turning from large size to a small size. Uh, then this guy, um, sorry, I don't remember his name as well. It's Arnold. Okay, Arnold says, Let's ask the Tooth Fairy. The Tooth Fairy is an uh, imaginary character. Is an imaginary character in American culture, mostly. 
Okay, so let's move on. We are in a classroom. We wonder why we are here. When we see why, we are flying toward Maria, Carlos' sister. V is about uh, the class and the bus. So the class and the bus are in a classroom. And we wonder why they are here. So, uh, Carlos, we are in your sister's class. Carlos, we're going in your sister's mouth. Can't we just ask if it's her tooth? It is dark inside the mouth, so we went right into this girl's mouth. It's dark inside the mouth. Miss Frizzle turns on the lights. Now we can see all the teeth. We can see them very well. There are lots of teeth. Look, one is missing. One is missing. I wish I were missing. This guy is not excited. This boy is not excited about their field trip. And he says, I wish I were missing. It means that he doesn't want to be here. Let's read this short note by DA. DA stands for Dorothy Ann, a girl from the class. Two of a kind by DA. Teeth come in pairs. There are two of every kind, one on the right and one on the left. That's an interesting fact. So, Miss Frizzle turns the steering wheel. Steering wheel is uh, a wheel that you use to control the car while you're driving. They, uh, we jet out of the mouth. It means that they flew out of the mouth. They uh, exited the mouth. Uh, when we fly out of the room, few by sis Sis is a short version of sister, so I think this girl is Carlos' sister and Carlos is um, on this magic school bus right now, so he says, bye sis. We think our field trip is over, but we are wrong. Miss Frizzle says we are going to a farm. Here is a farm. And this is a dragonfly. which doesn't understand something. Class, we need to find more teeth. There are lots of animals on the farm. We see horses, cows, and sheep. They are in a field. All those animals eat grass. Grass. Watch out, Miss Frizzle. Or one will eat us. Watch out means be careful. Miss Frizzle or one will eat us. Miss Frizzle must not have heard us. She's flying the bus right at a horse. Just then the horse opens its mouth. Miss Frizzle yells. Yeeha! Yells, uh, yell means to say something loudly. Yeeha! Those sharp front teeth are for biting. For biting. When you eat food, you bite it first. I was afraid of that. Now we are in the horse's mouth. The sharp front teeth. Front teeth, it means that they are here in the front. Cut off big bites of grass. The back teeth chew up the grass. In between, there is a space with no teeth at all. You can see it here. These are front teeth and these are back teeth. And in between, there are no teeth at all. These big flat teeth are good for chewing and grinding grass. Grinding means 
pretty much the same thing as chewing chew and grind don't let them chew us don't let these back teeth chew us front teeth are used for biting and these teeth are used for chewing so someone says don't let them chew us the horse's teeth are not pointy they are not like our missing tooth miss frizzle says let's find more teeth the missing tooth isn't from a horse who lost this tooth it's a mystery we haven't seen this tooth that they are talking about in this picture but maybe we will see it later the bus flies into a big red bar they see a mouse in a corner it is chewing chew 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 it's chewing why did the mouse chew a hole in the wall to get to the other side to get to the other side so here's a little note by tim a mouse teeth strong and sharp mice have very strong front teeth they use them to chew through wood pipes walls and many other things a mouse's front teeth keep growing mice have to chew on things all the time this keeps their teeth short and sharp we have wood here wood is this this material wall this wall is made of wood and pipe is something that we don't really have on this picture next we see a lazy barn cat it's yawning so we can see its teeth the front ones are very sharp yawn means to do that motion when you open your mouth really wide and you yawn when you want to sleep the pointy teeth help a cat catch dinner meow meow different teeth different jobs by phoebe teeth have different shapes each shape does a different job animals that catch other animals for food have sharp teeth animals that eat plants have flat teeth for grinding people have different kinds of teeth these are different kinds of teeth uh, there is an upper jaw and a lower jaw jaw is this thing so we have incisors for biting and holding here canines for biting and holding again right here molars for grinding and crushing so we grind and crush with our back teeth and we bite and hold with our front teeth the cat's teeth look more like the missing tooth but our tooth is smaller than the cat's teeth miss frizzle says it's time to go back to school we wonder why let's look at the tooth again it is very sharp here is the missing tooth and it is very sharp it's pointy it's very sharp it must belong to an animal that eats other animals how did the tooth end up in our classroom wanda asks we all look at one another who lost the tooth just when our class lizard gives us a smile Liz that is their lizard who lost uh, its tooth now the bus is a bus again it became large and we know the missing tooth is a lizard's tooth da tells us that lizards like Liz eat insects spiders and other small animals do lizards lose their teeth too do lizards lose teeth too yes all the time they can grow 200 new teeth in a year okay 
Now we're back at school. We found the owner of the missing tooth. Who knows what we'll find out next time. So the owner is uh, someone who has something that we are talking about. For example, if we're talking about um, lizard's tooth, this lizard is the owner of this, of her tooth, of its tooth, or his tooth. Uh, who knows what we'll find out next time. Look at Miss Frizzle's dress. It blows me away. She has a new dress on. And they have a short tooth trivia on the last page. So you need to decide which mouth belongs to which animal. There is a cat, a horse, a human and a crocodile. What do you think? This mouth belongs to a human. This mouth belongs to a horse. Who does this mouth belong to? A crocodile. And who does this mouth belong to? A cat. And did you know a giraffe has the same number of teeth as an adult human? How many? 32. So the giraffe, a giraffe, has 32 teeth, just like adult humans. Okay, so thanks for watching. And see you next time. Bye-bye.